Hi everyone, welcome to Wesno's Tech News and Reviews. Today I've got a special kind of review. So, as you all know, the gyms have finally opened in UK as of the 12th of April. And hence the video that I posted yesterday in regards to a test as a gym workout. Well, last night I went to the pool because thankfully they opened as well. And what I've actually done is a pool analysis, a swim pool. So I was in the pool for almost half an hour because we only get half an hour sessions now. And I've actually swum with these two watches. So we have the Xiaomi Mi Band 5 as well as the Amazfit Bip U. Now, we all know that swimming is really cool, but what do we expect from these watches? Well, that's what we're going to find out in this particular review and test what they actually record, how they record your stroke style, your swolf, etc. Let's get into it. If you are new to Wesno's tech news and reviews, we talk about the latest tech news. We do brutally honest reviews and share hacks and tricks along the way. So there I was yesterday in the pool and yep, half an hour. So I started off with freestyle swimming, then I went to breaststroke, then I swapped it around a little bit because again, I haven't been in the pool for almost five hours months so I was quite tired after the first half an hour but if we go back I used to swim about two and a half kilometers within one hour now the results were shockingly bad nonetheless I want to show you the output from these two watches what they actually gave us because I wasn't quite pleased with either of them so firstly let's take a look at the Xiaomi Mi Band 5 what it has to offer and what it promises it will offer from your pool swim and then we'll look at the same from the BIPU. Let's get into it. Now before we get into the details, let's say what do we expect from a pool swim? What kind of stats do we want the smartwatch or the smart tracker to record? Well of course we want to know how many lengths we swam, right? But in order to know how many lengths we need to be able to adjust the standard or the preset uh, distances for lap sizes. So we expect to set the pool length, we expect the watch or the tracker to calculate the number of lengths you swam. We wanted to calculate the swolf and we want to see how much, how long we were actually in the pool and preferably if we get the stroke rate or how many strokes were taken during a particular lap. Now what's really important is for the watch or for the tracker to identify the style with which you were swimming because obviously breaststroke is slightly slower than freestyle and so forth. In fact, when I was testing back about a year ago, the Honor Band 5, I had a very good question from one of the viewers. Uh, he was asking, can these watches actually recognize backstroke? Well, let's have a look what Xiaomi came up with. Xiaomi app, as you can see, shows me that I was swimming over 620 meters. It doesn't tell me how many laps so we can do simple maths 620 divided by 20 that gives us 31 laps well I was actually keeping count and it wasn't it was 28 laps there we go so the swolf is obviously looking smaller than it is because it calculated a longer distance in the same time span that I was swimming so there we go that's the issue you will notice that the Xiaomi Mi Band tries to uh, recognize my swim style and it's calling it medley what's medley well medley is a mix but that wasn't a mix i want to see specifically where i was swimming in my breaststroke where i was swimming as freestyle there's no such stats so let's take a look at what the bpu actually came up with now the bpu does offer way more sport modes it offers 60 to be precise now there's no gps so you can't do open water swimming but when you do go to the pool well you've got a nice big screen on which you can anytime pick up your wrist and you can take a look how much you swam your stats are a bit more full and because the screen is quite large at 1.43 inch well there's just more space for you to set up your data now if we look at the output we can see the workout time now if we look at the swim style once again it tells you the main style is medley now that doesn't tell me much at all about my swim so i think that's a fail on both of these watches what i do like though is that the zep app actually gives you your total length swam and that's 540 meters and it also tells you the number of laps 
and the MASVET BPU calculated that I did 27 laps. I know that I did 28 because I returned to the same spot where I actually started. So it has to be an even value. It can't be an odd value. So it's 28. Here we've got 27. 27 is obviously better than the 31 that's being calculated by Xiaomi Mi Band 5. So now that we figure out the stats, we can see that the BPU does offer more stats because it does use the ZEP app. And I'm quite happy with that. The only thing that I do have a problem with is the stroke recognition because that is a problem. So I will be doing these pool swims on a daily basis now and I want to bring these watches to you because we've been testing them in running, in the gym, in circuit workouts, but we haven't tested them in the pool. And I do quite a lot of swimming. So for me, these stats are key. So now that we've done with the stats, let's actually go to the charts, to the plots. And we can see that both the Xiaomi and the Amazfit bands actually have just two charts available and they are the pace and the stroke rate. If we have a look at both of the Xiaomi and the Amazfit BPU charts for pace, we can see that the Amazfit chart just makes more sense. It's a bit more smooth. So we can see my pace being quite high at the start then sort of slows down. And as I was finishing off with my training session, you can see me pick up and actually put in a bit more effort. That's logical and that is exactly what happened. If we have a look at the Xiaomi Mi Band plot, we can see that it just it doesn't make sense. And I think this is where it made the conclusion that I made slightly more laps. You can see that the pace sort of uh, slows down from the start and picks up at the end of every session, just before my rest times. That is not quite the case. So obviously the pause times were calculated as swim times. Well, I think that's what happened. Let's take a look at the stroke rate now. So we can see that the average stroke rate was 14, while the fastest was 22. And both of these watches or both of these trackers actually register the same result. Well, that's good. So this is what we have here today. So my swim over 25, 26 minutes basically gave us a result. The Xiaomi Mi Band 5 shows us 31 laps while the Amazfit BPU shows us 27 laps. None of them are correct. The correct answer is 28 laps. But the Amazfit BPU is obviously closer. Also, there's much more stats. There's actually a lapse number provided by the BPU, which is a great benefit. We can see that the pace plot actually makes much more sense than the pace plot of the Xiaomi Mi Band 5. Still, the stroke type was not registered by either of the trackers. Anyway, I do hope that you found this review and test of the pool swim stats helpful and useful. If you have, please drop us a like. And if you wanna see more of the same, specifically if you wanna see the stats and the outputs of these trackers and smartwatches, what they do for pool swims and open water swims, then please sign up by hitting the red subscribe button below the video. And I'll be posting more of these videos because they are useful. And as the world is opening up, the pools will be open. So when you are choosing your watch for swimming, make sure to watch the channel. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.